Alan Tom from your station? Sure, we need help. Doctors, nurses, cow, typhoid. Well, keep plugging. A little damp, ain't it? Damp? What do you think? Be prepared to dynamite if necessary. Okay. This came for you, Warden. from here in. How far? Well, if the flood didn't sink it, the prison ought to be straight up this road. It ain't far. OK, girls, let's get started. Here, you better take this with you. Well, here we go. Hey, Lefty, we got company. Give a look, will you? Skirt. Come on, you monkeys, let us in. Somebody around here ordered three nurses, and somebody's gonna get three nurses if we have to dig a tunnel into the joint. Levy gang, number five, coming out. Attention, main gate. Let them pass. Attention, main gate. Levy gang, number five, coming out. Let them through. Stand over there, all of them. You see what I see? And me with an appointment on the levee. Hey, maybe I should have taken up medicine instead of that second story course. Me for the hospital. I don't feel so well myself. Yeah, and me with my parole coming up tomorrow. Gosh, I'd like to be a doctor. Now that the boys have had their looks, can we come in? Take them inside. I'll call the warden and get the lowdown on this. Oh, maybe this is all just a bad dream. Come on. We're the nurses, and this is our pass. Okay, I think you'll find Dr. Harpin in the ward. What's that? I said a payphone looks better and gives service, too. Oh, say, that ain't bad. If you think of any more of those wisecracks, save them for me. I'll put them in this book I'm writing about myself. Oh, we've been waiting for you, Dr. Hartman and me. Glad you're here. Now oh, we're all happy. I've been working so hard, sometimes it scares me. That's why I give myself a physical exam every couple hours. Do you think you're strong enough to take us to Dr. Hartman now? Well, sure. Doc's in the lab. Just follow me. My name is Dugan. 
But you can call me Jackpot. Oh, like a slot machine, huh? No thanks, I don't gamble. Say, how, how'd you get in here? Easy. I got my hand caught in the door. Well, that doesn't sound so serious. Well, in my case, it was. The door happened to be in the First National Bank. And I wasn't exactly empty-handed when the cops came. Ten grand is a big fistful. <clears throat> Here they are, Doc, the three nurses. He's busy. Huh? Oh. Oh, excuse me. We're the nurses they sent for. It's a bit unusual seeing women in here. In a place like this. But frankly, I'd hope they'd send another doctor. You understand? Of course. But we'll do our best and we're ready to start any time you say, Doctor. Well, that's fine. I know you went through a lot to get here and you deserve a rest, but I'm sorry I can't give it to you. We've got a bigger job in our hands than I thought. How about the cells in the right wing? Water still coming in? Half the river. Well, remove the men. Why, the other cells are packed tight, Warden. You can't give them the run of the prison. Well, you can't let them drown either. If that levy breaks, a hundred men die trapped. Uh, do the best you can, Casey. Well, hello, Doc. What's the matter now? Well, I told you yesterday I was worried. Men collapsing and dropping like flies, and I told you I needed help. Well, you've got help, haven't you? Didn't those nurses report to you? Yes, and I can use them, naturally. But you don't seem to realize that inoculating a thousand men is an awful lot to ask of one man and three girls. Because if I have to, I can try my best. But now look, Doc. As much as I'd like to be able to work miracles for you, I can't. There's an emergency outside these walls as well as inside. There are no doctors available. I've done everything I can. Not everything, Warden. Let me use Stephen Dale. Oh, I realize he's a prisoner, but I also know that he was a very good doctor before he became a prisoner. And under the circumstances, I... I've already to... asked him. He refuses to lift a hand. Well, if I talk to him, he may change his mind. May I? Certainly. Try anything you like, but you're wasting your time with Dale. What? The day he came here, he had a chip on his shoulder, and ever since, he's been waiting for somebody to step up and knock it off. Well, he's through waiting. Dale, just a minute. Oh, so there is a doctor in the house. I was beginning to wonder. What is it, Doc? I'd like to talk to you. In there. I can do it, I'm free there. Dale? Hey, how'd you like to do me a favor? Well, don't tell me, I'll guess. Spot. Ever since this flood hit us, every man in this prison has been playing tag with typhoid, and so far, typhoid's won the first five rounds. They've been coming in faster than you can punch their numbers. You can't get any outside help, so you've come to me. How am I doing, huh? Dale? I know I shouldn't appeal to you on the basis of your duty to society, because I know how you feel about society. And I know what it's done to you, as a doctor. But go on. But I'm asking anyway. You're right. I am in a spot. This job's big enough for an army of doctors. But two men can do it if you are the other man. Putting it right on the line, aren't you? It's your duty, Dale. You can't refuse. Well, it's hard to, I'll admit. I'd like to help you, but I'll have to give you the same answer I gave the warden. My doctoring days are over. Sorry. No dice. But you got some nurses now. He'll manage all right, Doc. I'm betting on him. Go on, beat it. I told you I didn't want them hanging around. Notice you've been getting kind of chummy with the prison poker. Not a bad idea, Doc. Not a good one, either. I wouldn't be so sure. What do you want you to do? Give him a boost in the hospital? How'd you figure that out? Oh, just a hunch, I guess. Maybe you guess I turned him down, too. Doc, you was a sap to pass that up. You could do me a lot of good if you'd reconsider and ace your way into that clinic. More ideas, Gaffney? A noodle pull up. Listen, I'm gonna get out of here one of these days. 
And if you could get me into that hospital poison? Well, it's an airy sort of place, and I understand they keep the windows wide open. I can use it, Doc. Now, look here, Gaffney. I've told you before I'm not interested. If you've got any more tricks, schemes up your sleeve, just keep them there. Now, don't get all schemed up. You might want to change your mind one of these days. Say, Doc, tell me something, will you? A guy could get typhoid, couldn't he? Even with all that lemon juice squirted into him? If he was inoculated, I mean. You don't have to worry. You look pretty healthy. Oh, I may surprise you. I'll never forget the way those prisoners looked at us. I thought a couple of those lads were kind of cute. Pepper, do you think it's safer up here, really? Why, you talk, Tessie. We're safe here to stick a dynamite in the match fact. Next. Aren't you getting tired of punching holes with that needle? No, after the first million, it's just like knitting. I'll drop any stitches. When you get to 780, let me know, and I'll punch a few numbers myself. Uh, line these men up at Miss Grayson's table. She'll take over until I get some new vaccine. You better come with me, Miss Sutherland. Come on, you fellas. Line up next line. Come on, Miss Sutherland. Hold still, please. This will be over in Jiffy. You're Dr. Dale, aren't you? That's right, but most people have forgotten the doctor part of it. You'll have to forgive me. I'm afraid I don't remember you. I didn't expect you to. I was just one of 300 student nurses when you spoke at our graduation. It was one of the biggest days of my life, I think. Mine, too. I remember I was up half the night trying to prepare that speech, and when I got out there and saw all you girls in the audience, I was so scared. I... I almost lost my voice. <laughs> Keep moving. Shake it up down there. No talking. Well, as you can see, my speech-making days are over. I'm sorry, Doctor. Judy, Papa, come quick! What's the matter? Come on, come on! What happened? Oh, oh I don't know. He, he was working there, and then he spoke to me, and then he just slumped over. Well, take him to his room. Jackpot, help him. We'll finish the inoculation. Get back in line there. Oh, it's you, Julie. I thought it was... Don't wake Tessie. It's 3.30, your shift. Gosh, already? Well, here I go, rising and shining. Oh, say, what about Dr. Hartman? Win, lose, or draw? He made his own diagnosis. Typhoid, all right. That's tough with him out of circulation and the three of us working in shifts. Looks like the merry-go-round broke down. Not yet. The warden expects to keep this merry-go-round spinning until he can replace Hartman. I just talked to him. Know something? Ever since we waltzed into this joint, we've been keeping the Mayo brothers out of a job. Hurry up there, gulf it. That water won't wait for anybody. I always thought water was something you chased whiskey with. Say, so how's about letting me in on the new setup? Why don't you close your clapper before I close it for you? The plan's the same as we told you, nothing new. You're lying, Gaffney. I don't know why, but you are. You're cutting me off. What if we are? Didn't you hear the boss tell you to shut up? Look, Tony, we'd be cinched by a break. Why don't you ditch him? Why don't you give up? How far you think you'd get bouncing over that levee? I tell you, we could make it. It'd be worth a gamble. Not for my two bits. You'd be screaming with a belly full of steel-nosed bullets before you get 50 feet. Still stooging for Gaffney, huh? Well, I'm not. Dumb clock. There ain't a chance. Hey, Gaffney. Let go my leg. I'm going over. Let him go. Forget him. Go ahead. Make your break. It'll hand me a laugh when they fish you out like a rotten log.
like it's prison break. Back on the job. They're hurrying. Get going, eh? Too good. Hurry with that stretcher. Hey, don't lift him like that. He's not a sandbag. That's all right. Let him through. Hey, Dugan, take him in the middle. All three face this way. Get on your knees. Now, take it easy. Take it easy. Get your hands underneath him. Easy now. All together. Take it easy. Get around here. I'll leave it to you, Tony, if you don't look like a rotten log. <laughs> Sucker. Stop it! Stop it! Warden! Get the warden here! What's the matter here? Warden, that rat's planning a break. He's got enough dynamite stored in the tool shed. Blow us all the glory. Nice work, Stool. Look under the barrel. It's all there. Fifty sticks of liberty powder. How about this, Gaffney? Anybody else in on this? You got Gaffney. <laughs> That's enough for me. Watch him. We'll just take a look in that shed. <laughs> you ain't laughing now, are you, Gaffney? I have to bump him there. You're still sticking with us, ain't you? Sure, but there's nothing I can do about it now. They're gonna give the boss solitary for this. We gotta get him out, see? You and me can work it. Just sit tight. You'll get your orders. I'm sorry to spoil your party, Gaffney, but we'll put you where you won't burn your fingers with these firecrackers. Lock them up, solitary. For Gaffney? Yeah. Kind of fancy slum for that guy. You came plenty near making monkeys out of the whole caboodle of it. It's a good thing you nailed him. A couple of more days and he'll blow in a river and all that. Oh. 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 Well, what are you trying to pull this time? Oh. I'm burning up. I've got a fever. Oh. All right, we'll see if you have. Get the water. Oh. oh, Dale. I don't have to tell you that Gaffney's a hard customer and a clever one. I don't want him moved unless it's absolutely necessary. Oh, put the thermometer in that coffee. Oh. You're entitled to an examination. Still, I wouldn't worry too much, Warden. You outguessed him yesterday. Yes, that was yesterday. He's coming. Oh. Oh. Here you are, Doc. Oh, Gaffney, what seems to be a trouble? My belly's on fire. You don't think it's typhoid? Maybe it is, Doc. <laughs> seems to be getting plenty fashionable around here. Yes, he's above normal three points. Sorry, Warden. He's a hospital case, all right? Well, whatever you say goes, Dale. And remember, I'm relying on you to hold up our end. Oh! I'll be here in a minute. Right. You manage the slide, see? When the doc gets here, scram into that lab and do your stuff. Supposing he nails me making the switch. You know, I'm taking an awful chance. I'm paying you to take chances. Now get this. We're crashing tonight. Gaffney slide, will you? Gaffney? Hand the back. Oh. 
What is it, Doc? Typhoid, all right. I'm glad about that. You better make a report on this to the warden. Honey, I could have sworn Gaffney was faking. And I personally had six propositions for marriage. Outside of that, they're sleeping like babes. Carry on. Oh, say, Judy, I almost forgot. Dr. Dale wants to see you in surgery. Very important. Yes, Doctor? You're late. Anything wrong? <laughs> no. Nothing. You know, I hate to admit this, but um, I feel a whole lot better working here. I guess I owe you a vote of thanks. Well, I think we owe you one. You've done a swell job. Just ask any of those patients out there. It's a funny thing, but I feel that I'm the patient here, not the doctor. I found something that I really thought I'd lost. A desire to keep on with my surgery. You've got me thinking about the future again. I'm going to ask for that parole tomorrow morning. Oh, I'd hoped you would. I've worried about that. It's sort of a load off my mind. And off my chest. <laughs> well, I'd better get back no, to No, 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 don't go, don't go yet. I want you to stay here and help me figure out some of the places where the doctor in my spot might be able to practice. How about it? I'd like to. <laughs> Here's your clothes. What about Miller? Did you get word to him? Yeah, it's okay. Stand by. Listen, hear that? Levy gang coming in on truck. Open them up. Now it's up to him. If the screws don't spot him, we're a cinch. Maybe I ought to watch for the signal. Yeah, go ahead. Come on, shake the lid out. Get some of that lead out. Come on, boys, right up. Come on, make it lively. Get lively there. Come on, boys, right up. Shake it up. What are we waiting for? He made it. Swell. I'd better look in on Dr. Hartman. Well, remember, don't say anything about the parolers yet. Let's keep that to ourselves. Huh? Okay. See you later. Come on, let's go. But count me out, do you understand? Doc, this is one time you're not writing the prescription. You're a sucker. You don't know what's good for you, but I do. I got plans for you. You're coming with us whether you like it or not. 
So waltz over there and open up that lock. You're stuck, Gaffney. I don't know the combination. That's right, he don't know it. We can't break this gate down. Only ones around here that know the combination are that guard and Doc Hartman. Hartman? Hartman? Why don't you think of that before? Pull this gun. What are you doing here? Shut up. Stand over there. Gaffney, I'm warning you. Better get back in that ward before you get yourself into more trouble. All the gab I want from you is the combination to that gate. Now listen, Gaffney. Uh, oh. Kill him, Doctor. He Just came to hold you. Come on. All right. I'll send him. Punched right to five. Right to five. Yeah. Left to zero. Zero. Right to 14. Oh, no. Oh. All right, Dale, I've got it. You ready? I don't change my mind that quick, Gaffney. The answer's still no. I'm letting this talk to me now, Dale. And it ain't gonna waste no words. Neither am I. Go ahead and pull the trigger. When I'm out, you're still in. Okay. First round's yours. But kick this idea around. You'll twist that dial, or I'll go back there and twist that nurse's pretty little neck. A swell guy, aren't you? Well, I guess that's your round. Go on. Once right to five. Left to zero. Right to 14. Okay, now open it. Open the doors. Change your mind, eh, Dale? No, we changed it for him. Hurry up with those doors. Come on inside, hurry it up. You're getting yourself in pretty deep, aren't you, Gaffney? Nervous, are you, Doc? You don't think I'm gonna muck this, do you? If I've got anything to do with it, you will. Meaning? The first chance I get, I'm gonna make a break on my own. Okay. If you're gonna be a bad boy, I'll have to take out insurance. Come on, take this gun. Open your mouth. I said open your mouth. Okay, Gaffney. Get her started. All right, get inside. I thought you boys were off duty tonight. What is it, an emergency? I'll let you answer that when they bring you to. Stand by, main gate. Emergency. Ambulance coming through. Open them up. It worked. Let's go. Check out Hughes missing.
done to you. I'm all right, but Dr. Hoffman's in there hurt. I'll get Dr. Dale. I want to report on those fingerprints as soon as possible. Dale's missing. Must have been in on it, Warden. How about the guard? Dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, Dale and the rest of them will have to answer for more than jailbreak now. They'll answer for murder. Hello? State Patrol. Penitentiary reporting prison break. Notify all stations. State Penitentiary. Calling Allentown. Police Department. Clear all wires. Emergency. Hello? Allentown Police. What is that? Gag off, Dale. Have a smoke. Thanks. Great stuff, this freedom, eh, Doc? I wouldn't be knowing. Uh, uh, do you mind? This road's kind of bumpy, and powder smoke makes my eyes smart. Keep it on. Him. I'll take that on. I don't want Dale to get no ideas. Powder smoke makes my eyes smart, too. You know, for a guy who's just been done a favor, you're sort of unappreciative, Doc. You wouldn't be violating any confidence if you told me why I deserve this honor, would you? No, oh, I'll answer that one straight without a chaser. When this ride's over, you're gonna perform an operation for me, see? For a husky man, Gaffney, you worry too much about your health. That's just it. I can't stay healthy with this face of mine. It's too well known. So you're gonna carve me out a new one. Get the bit? Facelifting job, huh? Yeah. Good idea, but don't forget, uh, my hand's liable to slip. I'm a little bit out of practice. I'm not. Gaffney! Highway Patrol! Gun it! Get going! Looks like the one in the break. Look back and ask him. You'd look awful silly with your head blown off, Gaffney. Turn around, we're going back. You're kidding yourself, Doc. I'll admit you'd cut a fancy figure bringing us in. They'd pin a parole on you. 20 years on my sentence. It's not my game. I'm playing for keep. Pull over. All right. You asked for it. <laughs> Oh, something ripped me here, my leg. Oh, 
Uh, we've got to stop that bleeding. Oh. Oh. Here, tear that in the, in the strips, quick. Stop, will you? Save your strength, man. Oh. Here. Find me a piece of stick. Hold this tourniquet. Just about like that. I gotta get some antiseptic from the ambulance. Listen, Doc, we gotta move him away from here. He can't, he couldn't stand it. He's too badly hurt. Doc, I got a hunch I'm checking up. Forget it. Uh, I got a knife. Come here. Oh. oh, jackpot. Come on. Go on, give yourself up. Get the cuffs. I'll take the rap. I'll tell him I'll. I shanghai the doctor into this. If I don't, he's cooked. I won't leave you, boss. I, you gotta listen to me. I'm still giving all this. Go on, Lamb. We're gonna save the doc's skin before they nail him and peel it off. Go on, beat him. Stay where you are, I'll shoot. You got me all wrong, mister. Listen, I gotta tell you something. Don't move. I'm warning you. I know who you are. Look, you gotta give me a lift. We need you to witness something. Yeah? We'll check on that later. Don't move! Keep that tourniquet tight. Try until, Doc. You know, you're not such a bad guy at that. Oh, shut up. <laughs> if, if anything should happen, jackpot doesn't make it. Uh, going gets rough, you know. Near Allen Town, there's an old roadhouse, Bertie's place. In my pocket, money. Sure, sure, I hear you. Uh, and you keep quiet. All right, you two. No tricks. Wait for it. But put that gun away. This man's hurt. Maybe he is, but maybe it's a trick. Just keep away from him. Back against that fence. Hold out your hands. We're camping here till the state patrol shows up. Now then, get up. Pick up those links. Get one of them on your wrist. Now get up against there where I was. Get your hands on either side of that post. You won't get away with this. Oh, we'll see. Gaffney. Gaffney, come on, snap out of it. Sorry. Doc. Nice try. Well, he's dead. If you hadn't stopped me, I might have saved him. For what? Remember this, Mr. Convict Doctor, that old hot squat's gonna get plenty of business when they nail you for fixing that guard up. What guard? What about the guard? That guard you murdered tonight getting out of prison, remember? I didn't know he was dead. Not much you didn't. You just planned everything, that's all. What I mean, you're in a proper fix. Maybe you're right, fella. Since they've been grilling me on the brake, we've put plenty of mileage on this cart. And on my dogs. Say, you've met every stuffed shirt bigwig in the state but the Attorney General. When are you going to get tired of telling them you don't know where Dale is? When they serve caviar with the prison chow. Oh, have they sent for you, too? Who is it this time? The district attorney. Been pumping me for an hour. Keeps hammering me this way, I'll forget to tell him where Dale is. You don't really know where he is. Do you, Mousy? I did. You think I'd crack after Dale saved my life? Don't be silly. What do you think would happen if they did find him? I'll tell you. They'd shoot him down before he could open his mouth. Aren't you the wise guy? Don't you know she's in love with the doc? A lot of good it'll do her now. Miss Grayson, this is the district attorney, Mr. Parker. How do you do? Won't you sit down, please, Miss Grayson? 
warden's told me how you feel about the prison break and Dale's part in it. I gather you're rather fond of him. What if I am? Has that anything to do with it? Possibly a great deal. You might know where he is, might be shielding him. I haven't talked to him or heard from him since the night of the break. For all I know, he may be dead, along with Gaffney and Miller. He's not dead, Miss Grayson. This letter is from Dale. It's addressed to you. I'm sorry we were forced to open it first. You read this and you still believe him guilty? We have no other choice in face of the evidence against him. The jackpot will clear him. And when he does, Dale can come back. Miss Grayson, jackpot won't be able to help him. Jackpot will tell the truth. He'll confess. I'm sorry, it won't work out that way. Jackpot died a few minutes ago. He never recovered consciousness. Then he'll never come back. You're wrong. Dale is coming back. We found it necessary to suppress the news of Jack Potts' death. The evening papers are carrying a story to the effect that he confessed and cleared Dale. Why, you can't trick him like that. He hasn't a chance. You mustn't do it. Please. Please. Look here, Parker. You're not actually going to fake that confession story, are you? We won't have to, if she knows where Dale is. All right. What's our next move? Watch that girl. You've got to tell me. How do I know they're not putting you up to this? I swear they didn't. Mousy, we've got to warn him before he starts back. Somebody's got to tell him Jackpot's dead. All right. I'm trusting you. Where is he? Tell me. The only place I can think of he might have gone is a couple of miles out of Allentown. An old tavern called Verdi's. Verdi's? I was too late. Well, what are you doing here? How did you know about this place? Marcy told me. I got your letter. You mustn't give yourself up. You can't. Jackpot's dead. He's dead? They were going to trap you. Make believe he was still alive. Print a confession he never made. Well, I guess this turns it into my own personal manhunt. You know, darling, you took an awful chance coming here. But you think I care about that? They won't believe anything now. What are you going to do? Keep moving, I guess. It's about the only thing I can do. <laughs> oh, it won't be so bad. I'll make her somehow. <laughs> oh, no, don't cry, darling, please. <laughs> there's nothing you'd stop at to help him. But what you don't seem to understand is that your personal opinions, or mine, are useless in the face of the evidence against him. He didn't have anything to do with that prison break. We can't prove that he didn't. The law can prove that those fingerprints on the combination lock were Dale's. You see, our hands are tied. Every man who could testify for him is dead. Yes. Send him in.
I had to see you, and the warden's been kind enough to let us talk here. Well, thanks for it. I don't know what to say. So much has happened to both of us since I came here. It would have been a lot easier if we hadn't seen each other now. You know that, don't you, Dad? I had to tell you how I felt about something. I'll never forgive myself for letting them capture you. If I hadn't gone to that place. Oh, darling, don't be silly. You mustn't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. When society made up its mind to spoil things for me, it made it up for keeps. I know it seems hopeless now, but... We've only begun to fight. Listen, Judy. When you go away from here tomorrow, I want you to forget everything. I want you to forget you've ever been here. I want you to forget all about me. That's the best thing, really. You know how I'll answer that? I'm leaving here, hoping and praying that something will turn up. I want you to know how much I appreciate all you've done for us. You've come through fine. Think nothing of it, Warden. Typhoid, jailbreaks means nothing in the lives of us campfire girls. Come on, gal. Next stop, Devil's Island. I guess you gals kind of walked into something up here, didn't you? Walked is right. Remember the night you dumped us out up here? Well, doesn't that ever hurt you a little, sort of, uh, keep you awake at night? No, I ain't the gallant type, I guess. Main gate, car coming out, let him through. Gee, it was thrilling. You know, I think we ought to write a book about our experiences. Poor Jackpot, he had writer's itch, too. You know what he lacked in drama, he certainly made up for in detail. When I think of some of the cracks I made about that warden and how Jackpot wrote them down word for word. It's a lucky thing for me, they never found it. Found what? Jackpot's diary. Diary? Yes, he used to write down everything that happened. Where is it, Pepper? Tell me. Oh, why, well, you don't think... Well, I don't know, but it may be important. Where is it? Tell me. Oh, it's in the... In the cover, his mother's picture. Oh, I can't tell you, I'll have to show you. It's back there. Driver, turn around, quick. Mr. Parker, listen. I've got something. Obviously, We're but... We're gonna need you. You'll never guess. Now, lady, just a minute. What is all this? Don't ask them any questions. We've got to see the war. And right away. It's about Dale. And Jackpot. What a chump I was not to think about this before. All Come right, on, all right. I'll go quietly. Here, let me open it. Careful, Pepper. I'll take that. That's a diary, all right. The last entry was made on the 5th. That's the day of the break. There, at the bottom of the page. Warden, he wouldn't even listen to them. This is October 4th. It worked pretty neat. I got Gaffney out of solitary into the hospital. Nobody got wise, not even Dale. Switched the slides right under the doc's nose. Got to work fast. If Dale finds out, he'll spike us quick. And here's the last entry. Looks like the doc is going to kiss that parole goodbye for keeps. Gaffney needs him for a facelift, so he's going to force Dale to join us in tonight's break. Well, that's enough, isn't it? That's enough for me. How about you, Parker? Well, there's no denying it. That's admission against interest and evidence before the fact. Hey, take it easy, Parker. You're choking on them big words. What does that make, Dale? Happy, sad, or indifferent? I think it makes us both happy. Parker speaking. Get my office right away. I'm quashing that indictment. Good. You run this prison, don't you? Well, I think so. Sometimes, like now, I'm not quite so sure. Come on, I'm going to find out who's head man around here. <laughs> You should be awfully proud of Jackpot. Say, who is that? I've seen that face before, someplace. Jackpot's mother, Barrel House Annie, alias the Snitch. She broke out of prison last week. 
Did you get my office? Well, put him on. I hope I'm in time. Uh, hello, Molly. Parker, say, look, that nice old lady we hired the other day, the cash clerk. What? No. How much did she get away with? Everything that wasn't nailed down. I'm wrong. Jackpot would have been awfully proud of you. Well, Dale, I think that closes the case. Do you hear that, Dale? You're free. Uh, not quite so fast. What I meant was, we've got the murder indictment licked, but there's still a few legal knots to untie. However, I think I can guarantee a pardon from the governor. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Well, uh, a little privacy might be a good idea. Well, you've got it. <laughs>